Welcome, fellow Shek, to Kenshi Shek's Conquest, Episode 4, Growth at a Cost. Odd amount of cricket noises for the desert environment here. The landscape in this game is very interesting. It is. It's really dark. All right, so they wanted me to show them the gear, and I can do that because I don't have anything illegal on me. Different uh, cities have different things that would be considered illegal. So here is Leaf. That's not the named one I'm after. And Swift, again, not the named one I'm after. I'm probably have going to have to go to a different bar. So Rain is still here. And here's Rain the Giant. Uh, I'm gonna have her turn over her boots, but I can't sell them here because I'm in a in a town. I'm gonna also loot her first aid kit. And she, unlike the others, actually starts with some pretty reasonable stats. So this is this is what I would consider reasonable stats, somewhere in the upper teens, low twenties. And that's someone that can roughly handle themselves. And she's going to go, uh, if she knows how to walk. She's having walking problems? Yeah. She's going to go rendezvous with the uh, the ore miners. While Rockfin goes look looking for Kang. Kang is the last person, the last named recruit that I, I want to add immediately. Uh, so Kang can't be found in this city. Obviously. Because um, I would have seen him by now. So... I'm going to have to head directly west to Admag, my guess is. So Rockfin will head to Admag, and Rain will then become the... Uh, I'm going to take off her samurai boots, which are slowing her down. Rain will then uh, aid the copper miners in selling that copper. And I'll, I'll continue for Blizz. I'll continue to try to rename Orin. I just haven't found a... Uh, I might need to sign up with the Shinobi Thieves only to get access to the the Plastic Surgeon, the Guild Plastic Surgeons, to be able to rename Orin. I could do it in mods or editing the save game file, but I'd like to do it legit. What extension am I using to vote? Uh, poll map. The thing that is announcing the votes. So here we are in the Sten Desert, heading deeper into Shek territory. The Shek only really control a few small territories. The United Cities and the Holy Nation uh, definitely control more. So there are... Oh, Poetic's under attack. By... More Hungry Bandits. I'm going to have Poetic and Fang head over to where Ruka and uh, Oren are. And Rain's going to go join them. The game gets, and I'll give you a bit of a warning, the game gets a little chunky and harder to run uh, the more groups that you have. So it's good to keep people together. As far as uh, unique Shek go, there are... Uh, quite a few of them. There's Elves, Headshot, Horse, Kang. Actually, Orin is technically a named unique. I didn't realize that. Uh, Rain, Ruka, Seto, who we wouldn't add, and uh, Synclide. I didn't realize Orin was a... Uh... Well, if Orin is, is um, a unique, Blizz, you're going to just be... You're going to get the next person uh, that I add... You're going to win the next raffle by default. And we'll just leave Orin alone. I didn't realize Orin was a, a default. So, Rockvin will be aiming to recruit uh, Kang and also some generic named person as well. And there we go. I just discovered Admeg. You'd think that every Shek would know where Admeg is. But the game doesn't really do that for you. God, look at all these dead bandits. 
or crippled bandits. Oh, now Rain's under attack. Just trying to mind my own business. Everyone around me is so so mean, so rude. Poetic. Go back to the mining. And Rook is trying to sell the uh, the copper they got so far. Well, Rockfin. Here yeah, I can. Rockfin heads to Admeg. Right, let's have Ruka do the the resource running. So what's attacking Rain? Let's check. It is a dust boss. Ooh. All right, Fang, Orin, and Rain, let's go mess up a dust boss. Dust boss wants to fight. We're going to use our numbers shamelessly. As you can see, even if the dust boss has higher stats, he's going to find it really tricky to try to defend against three attackers at once. You know, like like you would, and we're gonna probably beat him down pretty easily, even if he's a stronger enemy, because of numbers. And then Poetic and Ruka. Oh, this is uh, full. So Ruka, go grab the copper from that node because it is. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, there you are, because it is topped up. And let's take a look at that fight some more. I don't know why this dust boss went off on his own. But he hasn't hit he hasn't landed very many hits on us. And this is really good for uh melee attack, being able to land hits like this. There also might even be a bounty on uh the dust boss's head, but there's really no one to turn him into because we're not really allied with many here. What's odd is it's showing that this dust boss is... Oh, there he goes. Now he's unconscious. He didn't get the memo very quick about his unconsciousness. Found that odd. All right. So Ruka is going to need to buy some additional uh, first aid kits. And I'm going to send Rain and Fang to mine there. And Oron to go join Poetic and mine over there. Rockfin here is in Admag. This is the capital and I'm going to head into the bar looking for recruits. Well, Ruka buys a first aid kit and tops everyone up and sells the copper. Maybe some cooked veggies as well. Make sure to be standing near the light while we mine, so we don't do it as a penalty. Tumbling! Hey, buddy! Welcome to the stream, man. You're playing some prison architect. Cool. How was that going for you today? So I'm just uh, trying to get some recruits going. I guess I should be more specific about that goal. Uh, recruit Kang and one random is my current goal above my head. I'm just copper mining to try to be able to afford recruits. And we're doing the sort of like uh, the rough start. Doing a lot of micromanagement here. Ooh, a hydrate. Cheers. Make sure no one's starving too. It's tricky. It's a lot to do. Alright, 
So now all the miners are getting patched up. Oren's the last one to get patched up. Ruka's going to manage to run the copper over to the vendor. And Rain Fang, Poetic, and Oren are going to get hit in these copper nodes. Rockvin is at the steps of a new bar, hoping to find Kang in here. I don't have the money for Kang, but just finding him is half the battle. He's not in here. But I am gonna... Oh, uh, I can't buy food here, that's right. So I'll just I'll just go hungry. I have to constantly remind myself not to trade with the... Uh, with the Shek. We're not trying to help their economy in any way. Alright, is there a Kang in here? Jaglonger? So that's a random... Bean Hop, another random. Uh, I'm gonna recruit Bean Hop and aim a Blizz in a second. Inu, Gurgle, Slick, Tuner. All right. Hi, Bean Hop. Blizz. Well, Blizz, I have a nasty task for you. Run to the hub. Good luck. <laughs> I think those are the only bars in town. I don't think there's, uh... If King's not here, I'm gonna have to go to Last Stand, perhaps? But this is, this here is the Faction HQ. Uh, Wafalal... Wow, that name. Thanks for the sub! I have no idea what to call you. But I appreciate it. Uh, so Last Stand is also a pretty nasty run. It's down uh, here, I think. But I pass through a whole lot of dangerous areas with Rockvin, so I'm going to have to be pretty vigilant about where he goes and who I let chew on his face. Alright, Ruka is up there, the Great Fortress. So I'm discovering some of the some of the towns south of Admag already with uh with Rockvin running south. Now where is Ruka? There's a lot of micromanagement to try to do this quick. Who are you? Not let me click on them. They look like uh, slavers, maybe. Are the miners getting hit by darkness penalties? Uh, likely they just have injuries, but I could check on that. It's probably just injury penalties. Let's see. Rain has injuries for minus 10. Fang has injuries for minus 13. It's just injuries. Oron has injuries that don't affect because they're not serious. It's mostly legs. And then Poetic has no injuries. Magic Hippie, thanks for the gifted subs. Cheers. Head to the pink light. All right, so Rook is just the, the pit boss, I guess. And the other thing I'm going to need to do is to make sure that um, people have food. So she's also hanging out, handing out food to the, the miners. All right. I did mention that Rockfin is a bit in danger because he's passing by New Crawley and Great Fortress. Actually, Great Fortress is not that much of a problem. But New Crawley is full of um, a splinter faction of, of Shek. Which would want to do him harm. I'm not sure if... Uh... Yeah, probably Flying Bull wouldn't be too friendly either. So, if you review the rules here, and I'm going to throw the rules up for just a second. If you review the rules in the backstory, Asad of the Stone Golem is the current um, contested, but current leader of the Shek. 
And this is um, if you're reading on the left. And then there's three other would-be leaders, Flying Bull, Tor the Fearless, and Ghost. And they are the ones in Great Fortress, New Kralia, and um, the Berserkers HQ, which is east of here. And they are splinter factions of the Shek who are not exactly um, friendly. I would say Flying Bull is the... If, if you overthrow Asada and her daughter doesn't exist, Flying Bull takes over. So he's the most, he's like the third in, in command or whatever. Uh, but we want to take them all out and become leader for ourselves. Where are these guys? This is a trader's guild. So they're Western cities affiliated and they don't really have anything I'm interested in. So I'm going to move on. So that's essentially the, the very quick TLDR. All right. I, Rockfin is heading into Beak Thing territory. Uh, Beak Things are like, um, like death giraffes. If you mixed a Velociraptor with a giraffe, you would get a Beak Thing. So it's going to be really important that I pay attention. And I just discovered Last Stand. So that's where I'm headed to try to find Kang. Oh, and Blitz is under attack. Uh, by Beak Things. Oh, good. So the problem with being under attack by Beak Things, uh, they just, they don't kill you, they just eat you. So... Blit, Blizz, just... The big things have a long wind-up attack. Uh, I think my best bet is to try to book it to the high village to get away from these beakers. So you can kind of dodge if you micromanage, but the problem is uh, Rockvin is also in bad territory, so I have to sort of split my attention. I hope he makes it to last stand without incident. Well... You know, because if he, if if Rackvin's portrait starts blinking red, I know he's also under attack. So what I'm trying to do here is is get Blizz over to the ah. Oh, he just took a nasty hit. Trying to get Blizz over to the Hive Village because the Hive, the the guards of the Hive Village will definitely fight these big things for me, and allow me to not get consumed. So I'm just trying to serpentine away from these. Oh God. That's going to hit. Oh, I dodged that. No, don't block me in. I'm so close. I'm so close. Oh, just a few hundred more meters. Hang in there, dude. Hang in there, dude. I hate beat things. So the problem with beat things, if you click on them, as you can see, the run speed is four, 34 miles an hour. That's, uh, uh, that's, oh, Jesus. Okay, that was his arm. Where is the closest village? Oh, God, it's so far. It's so far. Oh, he's dead. And he's being eaten alive. So this is what happens when you, um... When you get caught by big things, they just consume you. And there's not going to be a blizz anymore. Sorry, blizz. You got boxed in. Maybe, uh, I don't think I'm going to get lucky here. I, I highly doubt that there's going to be a, um, a, a hive patrol that just miraculously walks by. So, yeah, big things. Uh, yeah. You can see their health and their stats. They're very, very, very hard to kill. And, uh, and they have no mercy. And no, I don't have a death counter up. I probably won't. All right. So instead of watching him and what happens to him, come on, Bar, render. We're going for Kang. Wow, that yeah, dude doesn't even have a name. Shek Warrior Last Stand Bar One. Good name, dude. Your parents must love you. 
God, these the, he, he looks like Kang, but he isn't. All these have some really strange names. All right, so I don't see anything there. Let's check across the street. Liz's legs are being eaten first. Yeah, there's... If I thought there was any chance to save him, like if anyone was close enough to, you know, be able to help, I would try. But he's, uh, he's hundreds of meters away from the nearest anyone. So, there's no one that is going to be able to rescue him in time. Alright, so they wanted to check my gear, that's fine. I'm not carrying any, uh, drugs or anything like that. Oh, you know what? Is there no bar over here? Yeah, I don't know where... Uh, King isn't here either. Not that I, I can see. He's normally found... Yeah, Admax, Squinter, Last Stand, and I don't see him here. I guess I could check in the armor shops, but... Liz died from blood loss. An ugly way to go. Yeah, there's no one in there. Are big things the most dangerous enemy? No, they're not. Well, they are some of the fastest, but probably not the most dangerous. But I'm not going to answer that question either, because it would be totally spoiling for people that haven't played before. For me to mention the most dangerous. Oh, Ruka. Yeah, we're under attack over here, too. Some more bandits. Um, I probably, because I haven't been doing the um, the copper trade, I probably don't even have copper left in the nodes. They probably maxed out. Uh, so I'm going to have them fall back to the... Uh, to the... the little exile bar there. The rubble base. And there's, I don't, I'm going to check the bar one last time, but I, I didn't see a Kang. I'll check upstairs, just in case. So if we go upstairs at this bar, we should really get left alone. Because trying to tr uh, transfer between both zones constantly is is hard on the computer a bit. I'm going to try to have a conversation with these warriors that are, like, bugged. No. I'm just wondering if it's, like, um, if they are Kang and their names are glitched. But I don't think they are. Uh, what about upstairs? There's no one up here. Okay. Last stand is a bust. So we'll, we'll head out. We'll head back to Admag. Hopefully not becoming like, uh, like Blizz. Adios, Tumbling. Have a good one. We'll miss you. Thanks for, thanks for the raid. Save and reload to fix bugs? Um, no, those, those bugs aren't all that critical. There are some glitches uh, that require imports, and maybe I'll have to import it sometime, but uh, just having some misnamed people is no big deal in the larger scheme of the bugs that you might encounter in Kenshi. I'm not saying the game is like particularly buggy, but no games are perfect. Alright, so I was right. Yeah, the, the copper here was full, because I hadn't been doing it. Oh, here we go. Are they going to leave me alone? The reason why I want... Oh, no, they're not going to leave me alone. The reason why I want to be left alone is um, for us to be able to afford another recruit. Now, you know, I might end up just settling for any random recruit, not actually, um, not actually trying to get Kang. 
just out of time. But the reason I want to be left alone by these guys is I can't make money if I'm constantly pursued. So I'm going to set them to passive and have them go onto the roof and uh, try to focus on just getting a few more recruits so, so that I, I think, you know, I get to the, the numbers that I think will be necessary to be able to take groups like this out because there's not a lot of reason to get in these sort of fights until you can actually benefit from them. And we're just, we're almost there, but we're just not quite there yet. These groups do enough damage that instead of really benefiting from these fights, we, uh, you know, we take too many injuries and take too long to recover. But we're almost there. Another thing I might want to do is to have Ruka be a first aid full time too, because she's the other doctor while Rockfin's out. Now that they're all unconscious, we'll have them all reset and try to get mining all over again. The reason the the mining areas uh, near Squin are much more tightly patrolled, and you're going to be left alone a lot more easily uh, being out that way, which is one of the advantages of um, mining the outskirts of Squin. Is you know you're you're not going to constantly be attacked by you know annoying people. But, because we can't do commerce, uh, you know, we, that, that's a non-starter for us, unfortunately. Alright, so this node is full. Let's get Ruka to loot it and sell it. Cheers. And we have enough money for another random recruit, so that's what I'm going to aim for, is just like two more random recruits, filling out our numbers, and then we'll start actually actively hunting hungry bandits and the like to try to build up combat skills. I'm not going to continue hunting for, uh, for special recruits, because it's taking too long. So we have almost 6k. As soon as we hit 6k, we should have enough money to hire two randoms at 3k apiece. And Rockfin should be... Eh, he's almost at Admag. He's getting pretty close. Checking on on their food. Poetic is getting pretty hungry, so I'm going to have to throw him some food. Alright, he's fine net for now. Raffle the names beforehand. That's a good, good call. Uh, let me reset it. Let's hope you don't end up like Blizz. Alright, there we are. If you're a subscriber, just type something in the chat to be eligible. So the next thing that we want to do is to build up our wealth in, able, in order to build by something larger than a storm house in the hub. That is the next step for us. To get some sort of HQ. It's not our own base, it's not our own town, but we don't want to build a town. There's, um, it's, you know, if you try to start your own town, you're going to be raided and we definitely don't have the might to be able to protect a town. Now, I will say you can exploit it a little bit. Uh, so if, if you do end up buying a town and you get raided, uh, one of the things that you can do is just leave and they don't really loot you. They don't ransack your town or anything like that. But I'd rather guard it if possible. So with that said, um, when we when we do end up 
um, settling, I do plan on defending myself from all invaders, you know, foreign to us. But step one is just to get a roof over our heads and not be squatting. As soon as I have a roof over my heads, I can actually turn this copper into other trade materials, trade goods, that yield more money, too. You know, through, like, process chains. Are there any iron nodes nearby? Yeah, there are, but iron doesn't sell as good as copper. So, there's plenty of iron around, but it's, uh, it's heavier, so it's better to strength train with, but it's, uh... What are you doing? Look at this idiot. All right, Rookie, you can take her. Oh, man, you swing so slow. I'm not going to be deterred here. Rakvin, how close? Rakvin's in Agmag, so I'm going to have Rakvin switch to him while Ruka deals with those starving people. Whoa, he ran all the way straight into a tavern in Agmag. That's perfect. And there's no one in that tavern to recruit. <laughs> you love the crippled arm? It is pretty funny. Alright, let's see what the cost of these people are. Gurgle. Anyone upstairs? Nope. Alright, so that's 6k for you. 6k for you. They're kind of expensive. 3k. Alright, so we do have one 3k. And another 3k. So the two people sitting at this table, I will recruit. They're both female. One without horns. One with horns. Not that we care about that. And... These two were 6k? Yep. Okay. So I need to make 200 more cats. Which should be pretty easy. And then we'll be able to recruit both. Got uh, one minute and 20 seconds left on that timer. That will bring our total up to eight. And that should be enough to take on like the starving groups of bandits and things. Um, and not have to have long recovery times. Initially, what I will do is I will uh, save up to buy territory in the hub so that we have a free place to heal up with proper beds. And then we'll start to really do the, the training for combat. Being able to build our own uh, training dummies and the like will be pretty, pretty helpful as well. Am I going to run contraband? No, not so much. Not, you know, I'm more of the Sheck way. The, the Sheck don't really believe in in slavery. They don't really believe in um, thieving or contraband or any of that. They mostly are just combat. So we're, we're going to be weapon and armor smithing, combat oriented, and fighting our enemies. The, the true Sheck way. How much did the Haas's cows uh, cost? Uh, it depends on the house, but around 10k. They're expensive. They're definitely expensive. Oops. Uh, Rockfin, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally gave him a move order. Go back. Alright, there we go. So, winner number one. Maknaur. Uh, what do you want to name your... You're going to be the horned Sheck here. So, congrats. At tag me right now if you want to change your name. But otherwise, I'm going to name him Maknaur. And the second person is Trapani. So, congrats to you, too. Wow, that is one unhealthy posture. Oof. All right. Confirm. Oh, too late. Too slow. Sorry. <laughs> if I find a uh, if I find someone that can rename you in the future, I can always do that, but not 
not a lot of lag time there. Sorry to put you on the spot. This person's posture is even worse. Wow, she is a... She really does live up to, uh... What do they call them? Twiggy? Or something? Trapper Keeper. Alright. They did start with full, full food. Uh, they are the same speed, so I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have Rockfin and Trapper Keeper follow McNauer, and they're gonna walk home now. Man, that was some strange posturing. And I'm gonna take the, a, a bit of a longer route. Instead of cutting through the hive that Blizz did, I'm gonna cut to Squin. That also gives me the possibility, uh, here, gear inspection. That gives me the possibility of recruiting in Squin bef while they, they get home. So let's keep running the copper with Ruka, uh, so that we might have a chance to recruit one more in Squin. They need posture police? Yeah, no kidding. Good way. Thanks for the sub. Cheers, dude. Very soon we'll be out of the copper business. So, the current goal here is to check Squin for recruits. And then buy a new building. So it doesn't hurt to just swing by Squin if there's uh, easy recruits to be had. Trapper Keeper's under attack. By what? Please don't tell me it's... Oh, it's uh, it's some skin spiders. Luckily, skin, skin, skin spiders aren't that, that fast. 11 miles an hour. They're no beak thing, so I don't really have to worry about it. All the, uh, all the running that Rockfin's been doing, he can now run at about 20 miles an hour with an athletics of 44. If I had the uh, proper shoes on, that would go up a little bit more. But I don't. But that's still pretty fast. That's still pretty good for a Sheck. And they are about a quarter of the way to Squin. So what I'm going to do next is to put up uh, some of the different buildings in the hub. And have you decide on what building specifically that I go to if uh, Ruka could actually have this bar render. Hello, bar. There we go. Well, that brings me almost up to 3k, which is another enough cats for another 3k recruit. So this here is, what is that, the north? So this is the northern snail house for 12k. So let me start to write these down so you can vote on them. Uh, what building to buy? Northern Snail House. Uh, then we have the Bug House, the North Bug House. Other large buildings would be, this is what? The Western Longhouse, West Longhouse. We've got the Eastern Station House. These are all about 12k. The East Station House is 12k. The Long House is 7k, a little bit cheaper. Uh, the Bug House is 10k, 10.5. The Snail House is 12k. And then let's include the Center L House for 10k. So those are our five choices. I'm not going to buy anything in the South. So just pick between those five right up there. And that will be what we save up for next. Ah, coffee. 
Shadroth, thanks for the follow. And I'll put a timer on that now. All right, let's check their progress. So they are almost in Squin. They also don't look like they're moving. Maknaur, are you moving? No, you're not moving. All right, there we go. Now they're moving again. Flame shirt, thanks for the uh, the sub. I like the name. I could just picture you with a uh, a, a beautiful guy theory style flame shirt. I love his style. What is the difference between the houses? Uh, storage size and, and the like. <laughs> You're lazy, Maknaur. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive you. Uh, the snail house that is currently in the lead is maybe square footage wise the largest, but it's also somewhat circular, which is sometimes hard to uh, hard to furnish. You know, being that it is a uh, doesn't have uh, rectangular walls. But I, I really don't care. Oh, Fing's under attack. Oh, hello. Buy like a single? Sure. Normally I would just back up to the... Oh, wow, this guy is getting... Gal, I should say. It looks... You look female. Yep, you're female. He's getting absolutely... Smushed! Rain is, uh, Rain is a pretty, pretty strong combatant there. Which is why I did not fear this now unconscious hungry bandit. It has a second floor. It has actually a very expansive second floor, which is one of the reasons why the snail house is pretty nice. It's also why it's expensive. Ooh, pet Yoda. Don't mind if I do. Ah, buddy. Get his butt scritches. Have I played encased? No, I have not. All right, so we have about 4K in the bank account. Our copper mining business. You guys say, save up for the Northern Snare House. All right. Adding that to my goal. So these Squin folks probably are there now. So let's check. Yep, they're literally standing in the bars. So this is what a Snare House looks like. This is what we're aiming to buy. It has a circular top floor, a balcony, and a very large bottom floor. It has circular walls, which, like I said, can be uh, a little tricky to try to to build in, because here is Kang. Here he is. I found you. He costs 6k, I believe, right? Um, yeah, 6k. So, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to stand here, and uh, we'll recruit Kang... Once I have the 6k, which means Rook is just going to need to make the, the the copper rounds. So let me update that again. Recruit Kang and then buy the North Snail House. That will be a clean nine recruits. That's a pretty good number, a uh, starting number, but a pretty good number of people to have for a combat squad, especially for Shek, who becomes stronger and stronger. They're very easy to become uh, powerful because of their uh, their strength and toughness gain rates. And I'm going to also strip all these uh, these knocked out bandit people for their uh for their loot and that might put me into the 6k range cuz i don't care where the money comes from it's not a lot of money as you can see selling their stuff uh, if you right here where the money is, I know it's really small, but it's I'm making pennies from these transactions. So right now I have um, fifty two seventy, and let's see fifty four. So I made two hundred cats, which is like the cost of a hot meal by strip selling. Oh, but whoever has those shoes, yeah, I want to keep those shoes. 
the uh, wooden sandals speed your, your running speed up. So those are um, those are actually really nice to have. Getting all of my people into wooden sandals will help to offset the slow check penalties. Uh, this guy I can't even interact with. He's just like crouched there. Maybe he's constipated. <laughs> Ruburn, thanks for the resub. Yoda, what are you doing? Don't. Alright, Yoda, you're on camera. Everybody's watching you chew your own butt. What do you have to say for yourself, buddy? <laughs> he looked up. <laughs> I'm groom shaming him. Alright. Right, if I go back to the copper people, I'm sure they'll have the copper for the uh, the rest of Kang's payment. Yep. And we'll hand off these shoes to one of these guys. What if I first aid that guy? Uh, then maybe he gets back up. I think he's just bugged. Honestly. Oops, wrong person. Uh, poetic, I'll give you the shoes. I have no idea how wooden sandals that look like this speed up your run speed by 10%. That will forever be a mystery to me, but I'm very happy that they exist. Would he join me? Um, no, because he's an enemy. He'd never join me. Plus, he's not Shek, so I wouldn't let him join me. The only time people will join you if you aid them is every now and then when you, um... Okay, that's enough of you. Every now and then when you help out, um... Slaves and the like, they'll sometimes join you. Like, when you free them. But, uh... But they have a small chance. It's like a 15% chance or something like that. It's, it's not a pretty significant chance for them to do it. Unless you add mods. Okay, so we have 7.3k. And we are going to switch back to Rockfin and talk to Kang. Good, he's still there. Alright, so the reason we added Kang here is... His stats are pretty high, or pretty high for starting people, um, much the way that uh, Rain the Giant was. So he's a, he's a good starter. I don't have enough money to hire anyone else, but I just want to see who else is here anyway. A 6k recruit. What did he say he was good at? Engineering? And let's... Who's the slowest here? Maknaur is still slowest, so we're going to follow Maknaur. And get out of here before I run out of food, because uh, I'm not allowed to buy anything in Shek cities, so if I want food, I have to leave. I've already forgotten to do that once, so I'm going to try to stick to the rules as best as I can. The snail house that you guys wanted me to buy is about 12k, but with the amount of people that I have, I might try to make my money picking on uh, dust bandits. Particularly if dust bandits are in in smaller groups. I think it will take me longer to do that, uh, but I'm going to leave it up to you. So that that's a possibility. I'm going to have you vote on it. So give me one second to th write that up in a poll. How should I make the money for the snail house? Combat or mining? I'm not going to include theft because we're Shek. I don't, I don't do that. So combat might take a little bit longer, but it might be more exciting, and then mining would be quicker, uh, but possibly less exciting. But I'll leave it up to you. Now the the one issue with the um, uh, if, you know if we do take out the shack, or sorry, if we do take out like a dust bandit or dust boss, there's really nowhere I can hand off the the bounty to. Because we don't really have any allies uh, to do that with. So the police authorities 
in the area where I am right now. The only police authority that I could hand them off to nearby would be the shack, and I'm not doing that because I'm not helping the shack, so. If we take out the dust bandits, it's only for their gear. It's not for the bounties. But the bounties would only be about 2.2k, between 1.7 and 2.2k anyway, which is not that much money. The gear would be worth more than that, so we could fight them for their gear. And and plus, we could also equip some of their gear too. But even waiting for uh, MacNower and their group to come north to us, uh, we have made, I don't know, 1.6k already. So it's, it's not going to be that hard. Thank you for watching Kenshi Shex Conquest, and a special thanks to all of you Twitch subscribers and Patreon patrons for allowing content like this to exist. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, as well as a link to Discord where you can sign up for notifications and announcements. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.